All right, hi guys, thank you for joining me today and welcome to today's video. So um, I'm gonna be going over, um, I'm gonna be doing like kind of reviews, but mainly demos on the more recent brushes that I have gotten from CD Japan. I'm gonna try to use all of them. So just really quickly before the um, demo starts, I'll go over the brushes I, I will be using. Um, first, the Mizuho foundation brush, which I'm really, really enjoying. Uh, also, the Bisciotto Cherry Series highlighter brush. Also, um, another brush I'm really enjoying, um, the Bisciotto cheek brush, which you will see. I, um, I'll i do my bronzer and my blush with this one. And then also the Ehodo highlighter brush. I'll be doing um, some powdering with this one. Also the Mizuho eye blending brush. I'll be doing my eyeshadow, most of my eyeshadow with this and uh, doing the shimmer with the uh, Ehodo. I'm just, I, don't, I don't know if this is Ehodo or Hokodo, but I'll put the details below. Um, for the shimmer uh, on my eyes and also the G10 which I'm not in love with um, but I'll just sh I'll show how it is anyways and I mean I've only washed this once and used maybe a few times I hope you guys can see the bristles are like coming out of like they're not cohesive they're kind of like splaying out a little here and that's not because I've been rough with it or anything. I just feel like, not just because of this, but I feel like these bristles are not not um, high quality. Not like what you would expect from a Chikuhoto brush. But it does work for what I'm going to use it for. So you guys will see this in action. And I think that's it. There might be a couple that I use that... I've gone over before, but those are the brushes I'm going to really try to show you guys in today's demo. So I hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to try to stick to only my CD Japan brushes because I think those are the ones I haven't um, done a whole lot of demos with yet. So I already have my skin prepped. I have the Bobbi Brown face base on. I actually didn't really love it at first, but as time has gone by, I've kind of learned to appreciate it and I ended up buying one. I had a sample before. All right, so um, I have that and I have some sunscreen on. I'm going to use the NARS Naturally Radiant Foundation. This is my I guess my favorite most reliable foundation I have and I'm going to mix the two colors Fiji and Santa Fe that's what I've been using for for many years and I'm going to use the Mizuho um, foundation brush so I'm going to just like mix these two colors on my palette them on my skin and I'm going to use like the concealer brush to try to take care of that see how that works so I have been using this foundation brush and I really really like it and I'll show you guys how it works it's just as soft as the GSN 2 but this is a synthetic brush it's a little smaller than the GSN 2, so I think that makes it like easier to like get your entire face without having to use another brush. And it's really fast. I have my eyebrows and I have a little bit of um, bronzer on my eyes. So that's the foundation. I'm going to use the uh, the G10. I'm actually going to try to like kind of spot 
foundation like here, here. See how that works. And then into these little areas right here. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a little concealing here. And I'm going to use this one again. that that worked out pretty well and now I am gonna use the um, I'm gonna try this brush with my Vanessa Marix um, bronzer just to see how it works with this I haven't used it for this reason yet but I don't see why it wouldn't work I get my skin so it doesn't look so deathly one day my um, I put like just my foundation on and I was talking to my daughter and she was like mom you look like a zombie to her that's a good thing because she loves zombies but it um, kind of reminded me how pale I look without putting, you know, some bronzer and blush on. And I really, really like this Danessa Myricks formula, and I really like the color. I would say if you're any darker than me, though, it's probably it's probably not going to show up because it just just barely shows up on me. It's very subtle. But if that's what you're looking for, I really, really enjoy this product. All right, and then I'm gonna do a little cream blush. Um, let's go for the um, In the Nude by Nude Sticks. Just, this is just kind of a goes with everything type of blush. I'll just I'll just use the the Mizuho. Um, I usually use it for a bronzer, but I'll show you guys how it works with blush. It works really well, pretty much with any kind of cream product I've used. This brush really does a good job, and I really like the shape because it fits right here. make sure I get a lot of these brushes demoed. I sometimes forget. So now I'm going to go in with the um, the Ehodo um, highlighter brush. I can find the translucent powder. I really like the LYS translucent setting powder. And I use it pretty much all over. So it's been pretty hot here in California, so I'm actually going to powder my entire face. Also, even though the mask mandate's been lifted, there are still a lot of um, businesses that are requiring masks. And I have a feeling some of these places might always require mask wearing which is a little disappointing for me. All right. So I really like this for under the eye just because of the shape and uh, these hairs are really good at um, just applying a little bit of powder so hopefully you can see it doesn't look 
my face doesn't look powdery or drier than it you know actually is so I've really been enjoying this brush all right now I am going to demo the Mizuho um, blending brush I'm gonna go in with this pink shape from my Mindy mini Zendo palette I have a little bit of the NARS bronzer on my eyes because I had to I had to drop my son off at camp today so I just put a little bit but I didn't set it with anything so this does a really good job pretty much what the Wayne Goss 3 does this can do and it also can do what the Wayne Goss 4 does so let me show you what I mean so this is the Wayne Goss 3 and this is the 4 so as you can see this one actually that's the new one my old one if you can tell it's a little more like rounded here and the number four is more pointy and the Mizuho is like right in between so it's got kind of like a fuller shape like the three not quite as much but it has like a point like the four so I really do like how I can use this kind of in place of those two brushes not that I don't like those brushes or don't use them as much I just really like having something like if I do travel I can just bring this for most of my um, my eyeshadow so I'm gonna do the darker color like this just in like the outer part of my eyelid And then let me just because this one's clean, I'll use the the Shikuhoto artist. I think it's a six dash eight. All right, my um, card went out of uh, memory, so I have to change that again. Uh, anyhow, I put a little bit of mascara on while I was off camera. Now I'm going to try, I'm going to demo the uh, Ehoto. Uh, I'll put the info down below. It's the, um, it's like gray squirrel, the larger um, eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use it to put this shimmer shade right here. So this size brush, you know, it's not necessary for me, but I could make it work. And it provides kind of like a medium um, application of, of shimmers. But I'm, I'm starting to really like the way this brush is performing. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So it doesn't really, you know, apply like a specific area, but it does, I think really, I'm not sure how to explain it. It looks very like even and like I spent a lot more time on my eyeshadow than I did. And there's not a lot of blending that needs to be done when you use this. Kind of like the Chikuhoto um, GSN 9. Alright, now I am going to... Let's see. Uh, there's two more brushes I want to demo. One is the Bisiotto Cheek Brush. This is B-C-1. And the Bisiotto um, Cherry Series. The highlight brush. So I'll use this for highlighter. I'll use this for a bronzer and blush. So this one, when I first got it, didn't really perform very well. 
but after I washed it and I used it a little bit, it started to it started to really soften up, and so now it's really really soft and it's a lot fluffier. I don't know if you can tell. So I would say if you get this one, definitely wash it because it got so much better after that, and it's so much more. It's just softer. It's not prickly at all, and the only thing is it's pretty big so for me to get it like into this little pan it's not ideal but uh, so this is the bronzer I'm going to be doing I like doing this like on top of everything I don't always do this step but if I feel like my skin is still looking a little pale I do add a little bit more of this That's much better. Now I'm gonna, um, I am gonna use this for highlighter just to show um, how it performs. But I do really like this for under eye setting powder. Um, just just to see how it goes, I'm gonna use this um, finishing powder. It's called Soft Light. I would say it's my favorite finishing powder, and this is not a step that I do very often, but just to show you how it it really fits nicely into this area i would say this is a fairly close dupe for the wayne goss number two that i love that um i have a feeling will not come back into stock which is sad i almost got a second one and then didn't now it's too late but um, i really do like this and i don't feel like i have to have another wayne goss number two now that i have this one Okay, now I'm going to use this for highlighter. I'm just going to use the same palette. And then one last thing, I'm going to show you guys how this applies blush, which I think is probably the best use of this one, either bronzer or um, blush. Yeah, I'll use the, the Suku one with like kind of this like highlighter in it. So I think I feel like this brush it performs very similarly to a squirrel hair blush brush and it really feels pretty close. So I already have highlighter on but you know you could use it to apply things like this and it'll have more of a, a matte finish or you can use it like this and it'll give you more of a sheen. It's hard to tell because I have highlighter on already. I should have waited to put that on. But anyways, this is a really, really very enjoyable brush to use for blush and bronzer. Just the way it looks, it's, it's a very substantial brush. It feels very substantial in your hand. It's got this gold plated ferrule and the bristles are really, really soft. If I had to compare it to another brush, I would say it's closest to the Z8, but the Z8 is just, it's airier. This one is softer, but like if I were to do like a blind, 
Yeah, it'll be very close the, as far as the softness and the density. This one I think is, is slightly denser. I'm not sure. But, um, you know, this one's a lot less expensive, but I would say, you know, if you're not ready to um, invest in a Z, in the in a Z series, you know, this one is a very uh, close alternative. It's just the shape is different, but as far as how I use it, I would say very similarly with the two of these. So let me just make sure I got them all. So I think that does it for the brushes that I wanted to show you from my last two hauls. Um, there are a couple of other ones that um, I, I feel like I've already gone over them. Like this one, I just feel like I've talked about some of these way more than I need to. So, so that's really all I have for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.